Did you know the letter K in CMYK doesn't stand for black? It actually stands for key, so it stops spelling black with a K in the beginning. Hello everybody, how's the day gone? Today you're going to learn something, probably, by watching this video. This is a real tutorial. This is legit. You're gonna be wiser after this video. You can tell your friends, if you have any, that you can speak the language of color values. Okay, so let's start with RGB. Before you're even born, Isaac Newton developed the RGB color wheel. Shame on you, but we have more important stuff to do right now. How to read these numbers. In RGB, R stands for red, G for green, and B for blue. These are the primary colors of light, so you can make all other light colors by mixing a specific amount of these three lights. Each one can have a value from 0 to 255. The higher it goes, the brighter it shines. So red with a value of 0 is pitch black. Change it to 255, it goes full red. Go 128, you'll get half red, half black. So now we can mix the different amounts of these three colors to get new colors. It's just like mixing real paint, but with different primary colors. A 255 red combined with 255 green and zero blue gives us yellow. A 255 green combined with 255 blue and zero red gives us cyan. If we put zero for all three values, which means no light, we'll get darkness, pure black. And if we maximize all three lights, red, green and blue, to 255, we'll get the brightest color, white. In order to get different shades of gray, set every parameter to the same value. So RGB is basically a combination of different values for red, green and blue lights to get any color. The next one is hex. A hexadecimal color value is a representation of RGB, but instead of a value from 0 to 255 for each color, it uses two integers for each. The first two integers specify the intensity of red. The second two integers specify the intensity of green. And the third two integers specify the intensity of blue. Each component can have a value from double O to double F, where double F is the same as 255. So double O, double F, double O is displayed as green, because the green component is set to its highest value, double F, and red and blue are set to double O. Also, don't forget to put a hashtag in front of it. It may turn it into blue. I don't know how or why, but it was supposed to be a joke. If you're like me and don't have a printer, you don't need to worry about CMYK because CMYK is used for print. Don't get it out of this room, but printers can't print using light. They need ink. So we need real world colors for printers. And what are the primary colors in the real world? Cyan, magenta, and yellow. Yeah, if it's not red, blue, and yellow, I'm as disappointed as you. So CMYK colors are a mixture of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Each parameter can have a value from 0 to 100. Setting all the parameters to 0 results in pure white, because zero ink is used. Setting them to 100 results in pure black, the exact opposite of how RGB works. There are two ways to get different shades of gray. Set cyan, magenta, and yellow to 0. Now play with different values for black. Higher the value, darker the gray. Find the other method by yourself. You can obviously see I'm bored right now. I feel too instructive. HSL stands for Hue, Saturation and Lightness. Some may say Luminance instead of Lightness. I don't. This one is a bit different. Hue is a degree on the color wheel from 0 to 360. 0 is red. 120 is green, 240 is blue. RGB. Saturation is how much color your color has. It's a percentage value. 0% is gray and 100% is full color. 
Lightness is also a percentage value. 0% means no light. You get black. 100% means full of light. You get white. So if you just want to get your hue color, put lightness on 50%. In order to get different shades of gray, put saturation on 0% and play around with the lightness. Hue doesn't matter when saturation is on 0% or lightness is on either 0% or 100%. Some people may tell you HSL is the same as HSV, but they're not the same. HSV and HSB are the same, but HSL not at all. HSV stands for Hue, Saturation and Value. HSV has brightness instead of value. Practically same thing. In HSV and HSB, unlike HSL, low saturation makes your color more white instead of gray. 0% saturation gives you white. Value and brightness specify how dark your color is. 0% gives you black. 100% gives you full color. In order to get shades of gray, put your saturation on 0% and play around with value slash brightness. Here you go, a real educational video. If you know enough math, you can create formulas for creating beautiful color palettes. Or maybe you can't.